to survive long gaps between meals, we developed our very own self-charging battery, the liver. So that's the largest internal organ. It's usually somewhere around one and a half kilos or so. What I want to focus on today really is about energy storage in your body, and the liver plays an absolutely key role here. So when you eat carbohydrates in particular, so you have bread or pasta, rice, those kinds of starchy or sugary foods, you break them down to glucose and then the liver repackages that glucose back up into something called glycogen, which you can think of as, it's kind of like starch. And we store it in the liver to help tide us over when we're fasting. Would you like me to take that back, Sam? Thank you. Glycogen is converted back into glucose whenever we need it. But it's a finite resource. And that's a pretty big problem for one of the most important organs in the body. Who can tell me which organ in the body is using the most glucose? The brain. Spot on, Julie. So the brain is a glucose greedy organ. Are you gonna have a hold? It's quite a weird thing to hold the brain of someone else. Oh my God. <laughs> So that brain is using, on average, somewhere around 120 grams of glucose a day. That's about 20% of your total body's energy needs. But brain function is so vital that in times of famine, when glucose stores are depleted, the liver can create an alternative energy source from fat. Once that glycogen store is low, what can happen is that fat is converted to something called ketones, or sometimes called ketone bodies. So this is like an emergency way of dealing when there's not enough glucose, the brain can convert and start to use these ketones, which is pretty extraordinary. It's allowing the body to be able to be burning fat as the primary fuel source. The main thing I want you to get out of the day is to recognize that we have these stores. We've got this store of glycogen, we've got pretty endless stores of body fat, and that's ultimately what we are trying to do here with your various fasting regimens, is get ourselves into the fasted state so that you get using those energy stores. I feel like I know how my body works a little bit more today. Because apparently for five weeks I can go without food, so I can't wind as much as I do. That's what I've taken from today. And I need more exercise. To do the exercise is really important because then it will burn all my things off a lot quicker. This is very much like Silent Witness that I watched the other day. 